All of a sudden, this little voice came from a car over there. Hey, Layla. Layla. So I followed that voice, and it was Barb Cooper. And she said to me, she said, next time you have a drum making workshop, she said, I'll need to come because I've traveled my drum to a friend, and I'll need another one. And uh, Barb, uh, she's so lovely and everything. And I thought, you know, how could I get that drum to Barb without her having to make it? And she'll want to pay me and all this stuff. And I'm like, no, you know what? I thought, well, if I made her a drum, I could ask her for her story. And I would consider that a good trade, right? And so that's what happened. And she agreed to come and I made her a drum and painted it with the wildflowers all. And she came to the Four Directions Aboriginal Student Center at Queens and a bunch of us were there. So we all got this story. And then we'd then tell the people, right? So one day after the children's powwow, you remember they used to have a children's powwow here. And she went home. She was sitting at her kitchen table and she said she was kind of upset, you know, that the festivities were over and she was having herself a cup of tea and she was sitting there at her table and she went into this waking dream. We've all done that, right, where you're sitting there and you kind of just go somewhere and you're thinking and this song came to her. And she said what she saw was this man on a horse in buckskin and he was looking over a cliff and what he saw were the people and what they looked like was wildflowers. So over there with the children, you know, over there with the grandmothers. What's in every community? A trouble lurking over there, right? So the song goes like this. It starts, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. easy, right? But then, because there's two leads, what we call leads. So you lead and you second it. But the second lead's about those grandmothers yelling. And I always say in the concepts of the seven grandfather teachings, Talking, laughing, crying, dancing, sweating, yawning, and yelling. Those are seven holistic approaches to your day in the seven grandfather teachings. So the yelling part is about the song. It, sometimes we can only get our yelling out in the song. And it makes you feel better, right? So in the indigenous code of ethics, that's what we do, right, every day. We give thanks for today. We put our tobacco down. We give our best food away. We give people our best chairs, right? And it makes me a better person, I think, you know, to be gracious and kind. And how do we turn atrocities around into that, right? So there's Grandma Barb sitting there, thinking this song, creating this song, and giving it then to the people, and it's become world-renowned as a community song, right? That everybody is welcome, that we got to look out for each other, right? If you see something wrong, it's good to, in a kind way, say it, right? We got to remember, it, it might not be my child, but if I see a child that's going to hurt, I'm going to make sure that I help them with my loud voice. Hey! Right? And then other people start looking. So this is a community song, and I want you all to help with it. And to, if you know it, it's a real nice beat. And two leads. Usually we do four songs four times through. Ready? 